Alright, welcome to part 3. In this video, we're gonna look at uh, the. This time we'll be looking at the DB connectivity. In the previous video, we saw that through a collection, a normal collection, we just populated the whole data into the grid. Alright, so I'm just gonna do the thing now what we did in the previous session and then we move on alright so here's what we did we had a container uh, let me show you the diagram we had a container ID name expert level everything we had and then we have an uh, employee object which contains the following properties alright as we saw earlier and apart from that we had a data service in which we have a bunch of methods which does the job right so this is simple collection which I was filling out and I was just returning back to the UI right so that's what we did in the UI uh, this was a portion which we were filling out uh, using a jQuery Ajax call and let's look at that looking at that you can see we used to make a Ajax call whenever a page loads for the first time in document.ready we used to call this function called as lol employees then which first we used to clear the content of the container which is nothing but this guy this is the place where we construct the whole table right <coughs> and then we used to make a call which is like there are plenty of calls get post put so we used to do a post in which we used to call a service URL get dummy employees which calls your data service inside of which it calls a dummy employee method this method it used to call this method it used to return the whole data back in terms of a JSON then I showed you in the console that you get the JSON data back and then you do the parsing I mean the data you get in the message object I mean MSG just I have given the name inside of which you have a D object inside of which you iterate using a jQuery's each function and you construct the whole table constructing the whole table was pretty easy create a table then create the headers like uh, your name ID and expert level and in the end keep on appending the data values using this dot ID using the this object from this object you can collect the properties ID name expert level and yeah that's all and in the end we did some styling the odd color for the odd color we gave some color using jQuery for the header we gave color and if you look at the structure now it looks like this right we got the alternating color we got the color for headers and everything looks great right now the next part is we go to the database and we fetch all these values from the database not just get a dummy collection get the real collection this time so in order to get the real collection I made a method called as get employee alright this method does a very basic operation just you can imagine I have, have uh, this is my database as you can see my database I have a name of the table as TBL Dave I got four fields exactly what you saw in the employee class right and now you can imagine I'm fetching all the records right so what I'm doing is I hope you can see it I'm creating first of all the list of employee because whatever data I'm fetching from the DB I'm gonna put that data into my container which is nothing but my model right then I'm gonna make a connection string this is the connection string to my DB where I connect then I create a simple command SQL command called as SQL command and I simply write a query select star from TBL Dave and then I have my connection now before firing a query you need to open a connection this is the traditional techniques I'm using you can try your own I mean you can have your plus and minus the way you want <coughs> if you get improved uh, if you get a more improvement in the data then you can notify the comments then in order to read the data I'm using the SQL data reader if I find any data then I'll say I already has rows I get in I start reading and then I go like keep on adding the employees like this like we used to do in the traditional times and in the end whatever happens just return the list of employees that's all I want right so this is pretty simple 
basically what this is I'm filling here is a dynamic and what you saw here was static right so if I change the record in DB it becomes a dynamic the change reflects everywhere right so this is the data I'm returning and this is the data I'm having right now with me if you look at the previous data first is Ashi second is Madhasa third is Akhethi and on over here the we have 13 records in the DB we got 27 records okay so as you can see it so now let's connect to the database so using one line of change instead of calling get dummy employee I'm going to call this method get employee copy and simply paste we are not passing any parameters not so ever and we are just getting the whole data back and just come back outside into the Mozilla and just hit refresh as you can see I got 30, 30 one, three records right and let's hit refresh as soon as I hit refresh I get the data from the database right and you can see I got 27 records instead of 13 so actually I'm now talking to the database rather than talking to a dummy collection and as usual let's have a look uh, at uh, the console and let's see what we are getting alright so as you can see we are fetching all the records at a time so it is costing us 2.5 KB right now and as you can see the JSON response we got D is an object and plus we got plenty of records inside till 25 right so far so good <coughs> so this is the cost we are paying right now but imagine if the same is the case with the grid view it will cost you more than this right but anyways in fact uh, more than this we are going to implement the paging and all which will reduce heavily this 2.5k cost right and let's uh, do one more thing let's have a look uh, let's change this method back to the collection and let's see how much it cost us right let's refresh so it's give, it's gonna give us the dummy collection now this is the dummy collection and as you can see we are costing like 1.2 kb right so it depends I, I mean how much data you get based on that the size is costed and based on that you do the rendering right so it depends on how much you transfer the data over the wire alright so I hope this video gives you an idea like uh, how do you connect I mean the point is like how do you test uh, your jQuery methods and your jQuery functionality the basically in order to test this is this protocol is just going to work I just uh, worked around with the dummy collection once I had the confidence with the dummy collection I was pretty sure I need to do the same thing I need to fill the same set of objects using my SQL query and it depends how much time the SQL is gonna take and based on that my collection gets filled and based on that I return my data back to the UI as fast as possible right and in spite I have a time so why not do something more let's go to the design alright and instead of this what I'm gonna do is from the table I'm gonna drag this guy inside of this guy so as soon as I drag from here to there it's gonna give me a grid view by default right and let's enable paging sorting editing deletion and selection I hope you all can see this and I don't like the format let's make a little good look alright so this is what we have let's go to the source quickly and and take the grid view out of that div why taking this grid out of this div because if you remember we are clearing this div when we make an ajax call right so i'm gonna put this guy outside all right so let's have a look at the design all right so i'm putting my data just below the grid which i'm rendering so instead what i'm gonna do is just want to test like how grid view loads the data how much time it takes I'm gonna comment the jQuery call so basically when my page loads it is not going to call my data service it is not going to do any Ajax operations it will, it will simply load this grid view and we'll see how much time it takes uh, why not let's let's do one thing let's remove paging for a while and let's see how much it cost us right and let's rebuild this thing again and let's run it so if you see all the records are came down 
right and if you see as you can see 17.17k when you fetch all the records from the DB and if you remember when we made the Ajax call for all the record it was like 2.4 KB or something right so this is pretty less as compared to uh, this call right and let's do one thing now let's try to do the paging um, I'm pretty sure it is it, it will reduce the cost of getting the data from the system right and let's hit F12 and see as you can see I have only five records five five or ten records coming the start and the data the reduction in the data you can see right but besides the reduction in the data only fetching ten records still it is taking 9.7 KB it is nowhere close to 2.4 KB which we are making through the Ajax jQuery call right now let's do one thing alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little change we gonna do what we gonna do where is my page alright I need to go into the source and I'm gonna comment out this guy and control blah 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 whatever and I'm gonna call get employee this is fine and I'm gonna load this guy so anyways this is gonna get me the whole bunch of records right so let's hit refresh so this grid is not gonna get loaded but my grid got loaded fast with 27 records same set of records but again the cost is pretty less 2.5k right so you can see the difference like I mean it depends I mean the thing is like you know when you're using a grid view you don't have a control over the things we I mean you can't control the things but when you construct the whole thing by yourself you can control paging you can control the HTML you can do edit update and everything within a grid without any you know a, like uh, heavy operation in the future we're gonna make uh, edit update delete from this Ajax jQuery call what are we going to do is like when you hit delete it's gonna ask you are you going sure you want to delete the record it will delete the record it will rebind the whole grid and I'm pretty sure it's gonna take a less time no, rather than a grid view and all right so I hope this give you a video gives you an idea in the next uh, video we'll be working with the paging because I'm loading too many records and I don't like uh, you know the big screen so we'll do the paging in the next so stay tuned for more and if you like this video please subscribe thank you for watching